The last time UConn played in St. John's, it was a high-scoring overtime victory by the Huskies at Gamble Pavilion. Coming off a road loss to Xavier two days earlier, could the UConn Huskies men's basketball team rebound and get on the right track? Both teams were coming off a close loss to ranked competition and showed their aggression early. First, it was the defense in control. Then the offense came alive on both ends before switching back to a defensive tempo. The Huskies handled the pressure but committed several sloppy plays and untimely turnovers. Whether it was a technical foul by Tyrese Martin or a shooting foul by Adama Sanogo, the Huskies found themselves in a lot of foul trouble throughout the first half. Andre Jackson may have been limited offensively, but he controlled the boards, obtaining 16 rebounds. I think he's one of the most unique athletes, um, just such a unique player. And when he gets his full identity, he's, he's going to you know, play in the NBA for a while. Fans of both teams were in attendance, but the Husky faithful shouted louder, leading several chants you would hear at a UConn basketball game. The second half was the Tyrese Martin show. After going down with an injury making a layup, Martin aggressively stayed in the game, scoring all 17 of his points in the second half. Just Tyrese, the, the shooting, the clutch shooting, um, you know, the offensive rebound. Uh, that's what your best players have to do if, if you want to have a great year and win a lot of games in, in the best league in the country this year. St. John's obtained their largest lead of the night when they rolled to an 11-0 run behind several buckets. However, the Huskies answered right back with a 9-0 run to swiftly reignite the Husky faithful. In the final minute, the Huskies needed everything to go their way. Not long after UConn found the bucket, following an Adama Sanogo rejection, St. John's responded with a three-pointer to make it a one-point game. The Johnnies had no choice but the foul, and it led to the cold-blooded R.J. Cole making two free throws. The Johnnies did get a shot off in the expiring seconds, but it fell short, and the Huskies wrapped up their two-game road trip with a 63-60 victory. The Huskies return home on Wednesday, February 16th, to take on the Seton Hall Pirates at Gamble Pavilion. From Madison Square Garden, this is Cole Steffen, UCTV Sports.